guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockroom Supply. Um, today I want to give you an introduction to dust extractors. They look a lot different than what you guys would be used to when you're looking at dust collectors. Um, they're really small, compact, and a lot of guys ask where the motors are. But um, first thing you want got to know about these is they are super, super powerful. So this is one motor. Pretty good. This is uh, two motors here. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a couple little features about them. Um, first and foremost, yeah, they're really small, they fit in your shop really nicely. These are the most popular kinds of dust collectors that you can get in Europe and Australia, um, pretty well anywhere else other than North America here, but they're becoming more and more popular. Um, so yeah, really small, um, they're very powerful, as you've already seen, but also um, a couple of really cool things about them, their filtration. Um, this red one has a, a, bag, a paper bag filter and a pleated filter on the inside. Um, the way that the record power units work, they're a little bit different. Um, they have a three stage filtration rather than, uh, rather than two. The way the record power ones are a little bit different, um, they got a cloth bag, much like the when you have a bagged um, dust collector, much like the bag on the top of your dust collector there. Or, um, and then also we have the paper bags and another set of cloth bags on the inside here. So you can throw these cloth bags um, in the washing machine or blow them off. These paper bags you can replace very inexpensively. Um, the other really cool thing about these dust extractors um, you can, they're very quiet. <clears throat> well, I guess some of them are. Like this Rikon one is, is very inexpensive, which is beautiful. It's fairly loud. This one's 95 decibels, which is quite loud. It's going to be hard to tell on the video. Now, these record power units are a little bit quieter here. That's one motor. That's two motors. Now, you can get these with multiple different motors with the way I have it set up right now with the um, <clears throat> noise reducing hoses here, they pop right off here. These will be reduced all the way down to 68 decibels, which is really good. Um, also, yeah, so you get multiple different motors. This Rikon is rated at 1.5 horsepower. Um, this one here is 2.7 horsepower. This guy here is 4 horsepower, which is extremely powerful. Pretty good. Okay, let's try two. There's a big difference there. The other really cool thing, especially about these record power units, um, you can see how the, the dust intake is going through on an angle here. Um, so that means it's got a cyclonic um, attribute to it. So all the sawdust, rather than it be going straight on and hitting the filters, it's going to go around the canister and fill up the drum without avoiding the filter pretty well altogether there, which is really nice. Um, now, the biggest thing, probably the coolest part about these dust extractors compared to a regular bagged dust collector or cyclone, the way these are, they have a vacuum motor at the end of the system. So no sawdust or debris ever goes through that impeller. So if you have a regular dust collector, if you suck up a nail or a chunk of wood, you risk damaging the impeller on your system. These guys, no risk, you can suck up nails, chunks of wood, whatever you want without damaging anything. Um, the other major thing, a regular dust collector, if you reduce the size of that inlet right there, you don't change the airspeed. Essentially, you're losing power the smaller you make that. Now on these dust extractors, the smaller you make that hole, the more powerful or more airspeed is going to go through there. So the more powerful it's going to get, which is really, really nice, especially if you are using a palm sander or anything that has a smaller dust extraction port. These work phenomenally. Um, the other thing is they work exceptionally well with fine sawdust. They still work on larger chunks from your planer and joiner, but because of the capacity of them, that's a 55 gallon drum or leader drum, sorry, um, they don't have huge capacities where a regular bag dust collector has a lot of capacity. So these are especially good on fine sawdust off a sander, a bandsaw, 
even a table saw, those kinds of things. So, but the biggest thing about them is they are crazy powerful. This is number one. Here's number two. This is one motor. Pretty good. There's two motors. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> if anybody else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockfromsupply.com or just comment on the video. Now, make sure if you guys want to see future videos, you subscribe, hit the little bell button because that will alert you when I post a new video every week. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching.